Hey everyone, I'm Jess Keating and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about making your own comics similar to Bun Bun and Bon Bon. And what do I mean by that? This is about you making a comic about something you love. So I happen to love bunnies and I happen to love candy. So I put the two of those things together and created a really fun story with all those fun things I love. But I want you to know that no matter who you are or where you come from, you can also create amazing comics that everybody will want to read and that you especially will love to create. So here are three things that you can do right now. The only three things you need to make a comic yourself. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so this is top secret information, but the first thing you need to make a comic is, very fancy, a pen or a pencil. I know, it's very, very fancy technology here, but I know a lot of young readers who think that they need to have fancy equipment to make a comic book or to make art. They think they need special markers or special, you know, pens or pencils or coloring, coloring utensils, anything like that, but you really don't. I wrote the entire first draft of Bon Bon and Bon Bon on index cards, tiny little index cards, using this exact pen. And it is not a fancy pen at all. I think it costs maybe 82 cents. So I just want you guys to know, no matter where you are, if you can get a hold of a pen or a pencil or a crayon or a marker, anything that you can use to write, you can use that as the very first step to creating your comic. So that is the first thing you need, a pencil, a marker, a crayon, Anything you can get your hands on that will make a mark, that is the first thing you need to make your own comic. Okay, but the second thing, what do you think it is? That's right, you just need a piece of paper. Now again, I know I meet tons of young artists that think they need fancy paper or notebooks or sketchbooks to make their art. And guess what? Those things can be really, really fun. But one of the things I've noticed is the fancier the notebook or the paper that you're trying to draw on, sometimes the harder it is to use it because you're afraid of messing up this beautiful page, right? I know that some of you artists out there feel that way when you get a fresh notebook and you're a little nervous to make that first mark, right? I know it's true. So my suggestion is to not worry about the fancy stuff. You don't need a fancy notebook. You don't need special paper to do what you want to do and to make your amazing comic. You just need any paper. Now, sometimes I've used the back of envelopes to make my artwork. Sometimes I've used old notebook paper that has other writing on the back. It really doesn't matter. Even cheap printer paper, which you can get, I think, for about two cents a sheet or less. You can get a whole big stack of that, and you can just go wild and create all the fun artwork and comics that you want to create. So that is the second thing you need. Okay, you need a pen or some sort of writing utensil, and you need some very, very non-fancy paper. But what is the third thing? What do you think that every comic book artist needs? I'll tell you coming up. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna give you the third thing that all comic book creators and artists need to make their amazing comics. We know the first thing is a pen, something simple like this. The second thing is a piece of paper. What do you think the third thing is? All right, I will give it away. The secret is the very last thing you need to create your own comics is your imagination. And here's the cool thing about that is no matter who you are, you have an amazing imagination. My imagination came up with characters like Bon Bon and Bon Bon because I happen to like bunnies and candies and exploring in the forest with our dear friends, right? Those are the things that I love. But you might love something different. And the neat thing is about your imagination is you can take all those amazing things you love and get them down on paper with your very simple pen or pencil and tell a story with them. So no matter what you love, you might love soccer or dinosaurs or animals or scuba diving or cars or the, you know, the moon and space or under the ocean. No matter what you love, you can capture that because you have this incredible tool at your disposal. And all you need, like I mentioned, is to really, really think hard about what you love to think about and to talk about and to draw and to write about and use your special tools, your magical pencil and your pieces of paper to create an incredible comic, okay? So let's wrap it up here. The only three things that you need, and I wanna hear you say them with me. You need a pen or a pencil, so go pen or a pencil. You need some pieces of paper, and do they need to be fancy? No, they do not need to be fancy. You can get any kind of paper from anywhere to write down your amazing comics and stories. And the last thing is your imagination. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been fun for you and I cannot wait to see what you create. And of course, if you happen to want to see it, this is Bun Bun and Bon Bon and I know in particular these two buddies would love to see your creations. So if you happen to make any comics using these amazing tools that we've shared today, I want you to come and find me and show me. I'm on Twitter. I'm at Jess underscore Keating, or you can find me online at JessKeatingBooks.com. So thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing time with your creations, and I cannot wait to see them. But don't go yet. Are you a teacher or a parent or somebody who does creative things for a living? I have a whole bunch of resources for you. If you go to JessKeatingBooks.com slash newsletter, you can sign up for weekly updates of all sorts of fun, creative, and empowering things. Now, these things are suitable for kids in classrooms as well, but they are also suitable for grown-ups. So if that's you, stop on by, and I would love to see you. Have a great day.